Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. All right, balanced diet is very important. You need to have your vegetables, you need your protein, but you need your fruit. We've got Geek Fruit. Thrice a day, twice a day, four times a week, seven times a year. Try and get it right. Geek Fruit will tell you what's happening in science fiction and much more. Go where no man has gone before and let them hold you by the hand. They're Geek Fruit. Check out new episodes on our IVM podcast apps. Happy listening, mother f- and fathers. All right, please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. On Cyrus Says, we meet an actor, a model, a dancer, a trapeze artist, a singer, a ballerina, and much more. But above all, he's a chore. A chore because Cyrus Saukar stole my name. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows? Okay, lesson here on Cyrus Says, I come from a family of odious people with odor issues. I tell you this as a gift from me to all of society during the rains, especially Mumbai's terrible monsoons. We tend to sweat and smell for the rest of the day in the same outfit. You have to use something. It's a new invention. It's called deodorant. Go and get it. Apply it. Use it now. Do the right thing. Save the people around you. Survive this monsoon. Cyrus Says. And that's what Cyrus says. All right, uh, Cyrus says, with the infamous cough that you heard just now, comes from one of the great voices of our time. <laughs> not Lata Mangeshkar, not Asha Bosle, not even Sonu Nigam or Abhijit, the philosopher, humanitarian, <laughs> compassionate man. It comes from the one and only Cyrus Saukar, named after me. How but, are you, Brocha? You don't have to go deeper. It's a competitive bastard. I like it, yeah. Oh, I can't say bastard. I'm so sorry. You can't even you can't, you can't say bastard. We can say bastard. You can say you- basta. You can say bastard. No, you can reggae it. Basta. Like Basta Rhymes? Yeah, yeah. Basta. But the, Basta Rhymes is far from reggae, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you give me a lesson on music in five minutes. First, but bro, give me a lesson good, about good, 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 good to be here, man. Thank you, thank you. You have not you. called me. Oh, sorry, I mean, uh, thank you for coming here. <laughs> 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 Should hear the question. Always yeah. have that problem Before, as an interviewer. Yeah, Just yeah, don't yeah. listen. Yeah, yeah, you become the guest. I become the guest and the interviewer. Some people don't turn up, so I have to do both the roles. It's a great idea. You know, it is. Better conversation. So, Cyrus, let me introduce you. Okay. Uh, this is, I'm talking about another, we have the same name, but we're different people. Mm. He's a couple of inches taller than me at six and a half feet uh, And nothing is in proportion because we bathe it together And I have to mm. tell you, oh my god, everything else is different <laughs> But uh, Saukar, yes. MTV VJ anchor, now with a new show on uh, on a lovely channel Thanks, thanks, so you obviously researched in, in, in a second <laughs> yeah. uh, which, which channel brother, come on, tell me Because I, now you're in a precarious position it'll, It's, a, it's, it's a not about offending me, but and this clip will go to the channel It rhymes with the word Um... <laughs> Rock Am I right? Oh, pregnant pause So I'm right Yeah, yeah, yeah We'll yeah. come to that We'll come to yeah, that yeah. Let's, let's do this in a little bit of a chronology Yeah, bro Because uh, first and foremost Before we go into the break I want to talk about your life in Delhi uh, Because you know The MTV thing and all We know all about that I want to talk about uh, The young Cyrus Saukar Who was 10 years old Growing up on the streets of Delhi When life was painful <laughs> And when you couldn't play football Everybody needs that one story You couldn't play cricket Yeah You, you couldn't, couldn't do anything I couldn't do anything The only thing you could do Is tell jokes And everybody more... used to laugh at you And say, boy You'll do nothing with your life Because all you can do Is tell jokes and today, well, you do nothing with your life. <laughs> I guess they were. That's no. why I can't afford so, a sad so, story. So, so, no, no, I, let, approach, I can't afford he, a sad yeah. story because that works if you've done something yeah, with your life. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're just you have there. to be a legend and then yeah. make up your story. Now you can just steal it off the net, though. No, like if, you hit, like if you hit big, then you have to have that whole. You must have a struggling story and a painful yeah, story. Yeah, otherwise you're still struggling. And, story. and a good romance, even though you, you know, you might be, you know. No, the giving up of romance for career. Yes, which is a good story and again. Always on uh, when you first arrive in Bombay. But looking you at did, the ocean. you did, you have a couple of sad stories. I, I've seen the girls you've dated, and I must say, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Saukar, let's go back. Okay, so okay. What was young Saukar like? Where did you grow up? So I grew up in Delhi. Mm-hmm. Uh, and went to St. Columbus School there Which is quite a famous school oh, My cousins Do you know Ashish? N- uh, not, no, no Roxan? But the, no. The, there the, are other more the famous female, people Shah Rukh Khan Shah Khan has gone there Shah Khan is two years senior to him Yeah Deepak yeah. Chopra 
Uh, I don't know which batch. The child, he was levitating around. School. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, he was a Columbus boy before he became yeah, a yogi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But with Shah Rukh Khan is the, the is the one that so, we all. Shah Rukh was the real yogi. Yeah, but, uh, act we'll was stolen. Refer huh? to Shah Rukh Khan as yeah. a as oh. a school guy. Correct. Uh, yeah, so when you met Shah Rukh, did you tell him you're a Saint Columbus? Did it make any difference? No, I never told him. Why didn't you tell him? Because I got nervous. I got psyched. Why did you get psyched? He was just a boy from your school. Yeah, but you know how it is, man. I don't know. I didn't feel that bonding situation where I felt like just. I told him I was Saint Columbus, and we bonded so well. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's and I lied. Problem. I completely so then, lied. Immediately after, if I come in and say I'm also from Saint Columbus, he'd be like, "Dude, this is okay, ridiculous." Let's get back to your story. Yeah, so went to school in uh, Saint Columbus. Grew what up in you Delhi. Like? What were you like as a young, uh, twelve, ten, I, year old, prancing? Uh, Did you have a good Delhi accent? The, the thing is that my preschool was in at home only because my grandmother ran a small little school out of the house called you Playpen. You cheap bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you make it sound all yeah. formal and all yeah. that. You just wanted to save money. Home nanny, school. nanny, can you start a school? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, if I become successful, then it'll be that I was so brilliant that I was often homeschooled by my grandmother. But you were homeschooled till the age of six, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you, so yeah. how, do you remember that at all? It was terrible, dude. It was absolutely awful because. Uh, every time anything went wrong with anybody in school, my grandmother felt this need to just randomly slap. You know me the for difference everything. between the two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But over the years, yeah, it gets hazy. You know, they all start looking like each yeah, other. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So I never really missed one from <laughs> the other. Yeah, but it was it was that. It was a uh, lot of memories of uh, sort of growing up only with women. Uh, yeah, was, you have that in your. Uh, karma, dude, my mother, 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 grandmother, grandmother, Masi. Yeah. Uh, oh, sister We have to mention here That your dad was not there My father My parents separated When I was very young Yeah And I was only with so the Sister, mother, grandmother yeah. And Amasi And Amasi That's four strong women In your life uh, Is this why you women. use A lot of mascara or? This is this is one of the reasons Why I to feel A certain level of infinity yeah. But uh, people don't know This about you But you do have a, a bit of a vanity thing Don't you I don't yeah Let me tell you those I only listening. have it Compared to you I can't lie We, I, we room a lot We have roomed a lot In our MTV days One minute One minute And If you shower man, and shave Brocha thinks you're vain because this, Brocha this does not shower has about seven products that I haven't heard of. There was four types of cream, okay, and nothing for the lower body. It's all for the upper body, all for the face. There was no cream. Spends yeah. hours in front of the mirror. This is bullshit. This is again stuff that you've just come up with over the years. But they need to know the truth because you were always in a panicking until, hurry until my book comes out. Bro, okay, someone has to tell the truth. Brocha wears <laughs> used to carry in at the airport in those khaki shorts, which I don't know who he stole from. Yeah. He would have an underwear in one pocket and socks in the other, and. If and you no if you happen to have a suitcase, you're a freaking Wayne psychopath. That was the only difference. That's true. I was operating on a normal human yeah. level. That, he is correct. There, there was a, an extreme on one side and another extreme on the other side. But how you have survived is a like you're like it's a species in itself. Well, you know what I mean? Minimalism, Baba. It's easy. But this now now they're all writing and uh, documentaries are being made yeah, on your lifestyle. Like, like it's a, you should be like I've been doing like, this. Why didn't I think of this? Yeah. Okay. Now let's get back to your yeah. childhood yeah. again because I I, wanted I can't believe you have stopped talking about yourself. Okay. No. okay. So okay. you grew up in all these. Strong women, uh, which yeah. again, in in a sense, you know, it was terrible. By the way, it terrible was or not, it gives you a different perspective. People won't Com- understand un- unless they have that sort of. No, 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 it gives you completely different perspective. And so are you uh, more sensitive to women, or are you scared of them? Because the two things can happen. I, I am completely in the situation where I am aware of the power that they have and how unpredictable. So there's a sort of respect, uh, fear a, shi- respect. a shivering uh, respect. Okay, you're terrified. <laughs> you never put the lights off. I'm, I'm not messing around with them. <laughs> uh, I yeah, because also what happens is. When they when women gang up, it's a very different situation. And when you're a kid growing up in that environment, it's it's quite funny and nuts. Uh, and but they didn't spoil you. The other thing that happens is sometimes no, yeah. the one boy in the thing and everybody's like, uh, Chandu, come here, chocolate, kuch pila do, kuch so, do. so my ch- uh, uh, childhood is, is is somehow very very close to my relationship with you. Which you saying you're yeah. calling me a woman? No, no, no. And rightly Which so. is that nothing <laughs> happened, right? Did, did your did, did, did your really mom and grandmom no. carry the underwear in the pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truth. No, they didn't do anything much, but the little no, underwear they make such a big deal about it. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. Like I, my mom got me this one toy that I really wanted. Huh. And now it's brought up even now. Like we did so much for you. Then like, what, what did you do? It was you one got toy. Me a toy. One. <laughs> what, what toy was it? It was this. Um, it was this water thing. It what? was a small little. It's called ha- a tap. It was a hand. I don't know how to explain it to you, man. There were these two rods. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, leave it there. Leave yeah. it there. And, uh, <laughs> and never mention. There was a th- hole. Don't, don't remind your mother either. Oh, stop it. Right. And you have to put the <laughs> All right, hole got it, in there. Right, right. 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 Uh, are you successful? So with maybe this they, toy? they didn't take it. Too this well. toy is your future. So yeah, man, oh. did that and uh, hated school. No, no, no slowly. So we go to Columbus. Yeah. Now you're in the big bad because you were homeschooled. Again, the environment is sort of controlled and it's your territory. Let's face Play it. Playpen, yeah. Playpen. Then you go into this big bad world of. Columbus. So everybody, my cousins and all, were in Columbus. Yeah. And 
they were brilliant. So I luckily got in. Were you and close to them? Very close. Okay. Very close to my cousins because we all were hanging out all the time. There, there was a 13 year age. Were difference. there any males in the cousin list? Two brothers who, uh, through my childhood, would do random shit like, uh, you know, the exorcist was out at that point in time. Right, right. And uh, every time I'd walk into the room, they'd all just start staring at my head. And saying, "Oh shit, it's on his head," and there's triple six and triple six. So I would. These were your role models. These are my role models. The male role models. Yeah, yeah. And then I just keep staring at the, my skull, looking for six six six. And so you thought you were the devil's devil. child. I didn't have any option, man. You've been told that every single day. Is so that I was like, why you stare in the mirror for a long time? For and I mentioned in the beginning. You think I'm weird? I'm just Don't searching. Vanity. I'm searching. You're trying to find if you're the devil or not? <laughs> you don't understand. And you don't have an answer. Searching for horns. Huh. Yeah, so man, it was just that, and uh, at a pretty but young see, age. Uh, when I first met you, you see, there a lot of uh, things about you are very different. Okay, right. you're not very sporty. Let's face it, because you're, I you're didn't want essential male in that sense. I am. I, I, you, there are many points which are. I'm not saying I've I, seen your, you know, your lower body. I knit. You do <laughs> and with both hands and <laughs> with uh, a little extra. <laughs> I weep. There you go. And films. Uh, no, so going back to your Columbus uh, thing. Yeah, so yeah. Were you one of those very social boys, or were you one of those uh, I'll be alone, do my own thing boys? Very very social. Uh, grew up with five childhood friends who I uh, went to school with and lived next to. So that gang was always around. And I, I think I escaped a lot of my like school life just hanging with them. Uh, sometimes even bunking school. Uh, we were all very... Ris- we were the kind of kids who were not good at school, at studies. At but academics. We were, yeah, but we were doing a lot of singing. We had, I was the lead singer of the school band. Uh, we used to do theatre. So we were interested in all the other things in life and play basketball. Samir Kocher was uh, one of them. Samir Kocher was one uh, of your five friends. Yeah. The same Samir Kocher was on TV. Who's on TV, hosts the IPL right, and whatnot. Right. So we all grew up uh, in this very... It was an amazing time, man. The the 80s, everything was very simple. And uh, you're, everybody had... It was like, before demonetization. It was before... It was before yeah. GST. Yeah, man. So It was before this cashless uh, society. It was before the Goddess Evak movement. I think everybody got it in the GST part. And yes. I think just we should have going on. Why don't you just poke me? What I, is this? I've been telling all the guests, poke me when you're done. Poke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use so, that finger. Right. So, Kocher, you, the yeah, group so we, of five. We huh? all grew up in Columbus. We used to do a lot of strange stuff. A lot of theatre for the inmates of Tihar jail and stuff like that, man. Which is still your biggest uh, draw. Which is the market is, that you turn to so whenever, exciting. whenever you feel low. Yeah. Uh, what about girls? Dude, there was one, there was no interaction with girls till the age of 14. Uh, St. Columbus School is an all-boys school. We had this one wall and then there's CJM. Which is the girls' school. Yeah, which you just like sort of didn't stare you, at. Didn't you scale the wall uh, There was no, Donald Trump? No, no, no. It was, uh, it was not, none of that scaling the wall situation ever happened. And it was all... And you put five, ten boys together, they just start fighting. So Columbus is all about like hyper men getting irritated with each other and then just playing football and... And what, what were the plans and aspirations of a young Cyrus Saukar at that point? As you grew older <laughs> and came to your 10th standard, what did you think you were going to do? So at, at a... By 14, I was absolutely paranoid because I think... Because that you hadn't started masturbating and scotch your head. Yeah, that was one of the... No, tell me the things. truth. I want the truth. Yeah, that, no, I think I, I started way earlier than that, man. So you were first? I was first. In a sense, you were the opener? I was the opener. He was in the very middle order. He yeah. was the middle order. No, but I, I, I really got paranoid about the fact that I started... It was didn't take me too long to realize that there's no chance I could do anything with the academic no, side No, but with the five, four or five women in your life, strong personalities, yeah. etc., etc. What was the plan for you? They must have been all thinking... All Zero. Make, but they all must have been trying to make plans for you, as in your future. No, they were making... They, my mom they and my... They it up on you. Dude, my mom and my masi were hilarious because every... Two weeks, they would come up with a new, brilliant business plan, mm-hmm. and then they would semi-execute. This it. is for themselves. This is for themselves. Okay. And so I the was, entrepreneurial spirit was always there. Yeah. And I was a lot of the conversation would be about what is going to happen to Cyrus. How do we sell Cyrus? Yeah. <laughs> Where is he going to go? What is he going to do with <laughs> his bathroom life? fittings available with one son? Huh. No, no. So I basically I got really paranoid. I think it was one night where uh, my uh, I came home at like one o'clock or something, and uh, my friend stole his dad's car, and. My mom got really angry and she said that they are all going to be fine and you're going to get nothing happening with your life. And so I got super psyched. And so at 14, only, 14, 13, 14. 14. And so luckily she put me into this radio and uh, broadcasting workshop with Roshan Abbas who was doing a lot of theatre. Well, Roshan Abbas was making money even then. Roshan was all. It's always. amazing. That guy, he makes money wherever he goes. Dude, he's never not made money. Never not made like, money. Like it's insane. I want him to be taxed extra. I just feel so. And I like him, and I'm saying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, and it is so. Roshan Abbas looked at you and found some talent immediately, or yeah. So he, I don't know if he found any talent, but what he started doing was we did that radio workshop, and he started getting us a lot of just random gigs, which was like for seven, eight hundred rupees. Correct. And you know he likes you when he asks you to sit on your on his lap and uh, yeah, face him and yeah, and 
did uh, tickle his cheeks or yes. is that just me that was just you bro oh, we were all fine and i and i do believe you did sit on his lap with and then tickle <laughs> his cheek <laughs> yes and then so much so that he asked me to stop after some time yeah yeah and he got us this harpic commercial oh so you you did your first ad at 14 yeah ra- radio voice over got oh, like okay. 800 rupees for it not bad not bad and you received just a line or something we sang you remember uh, you remember uh, what yeah it was a uh, ho gayi tayyar har pick ki army manegi na har har pick ki army and then there's the thing of how pick how, how can it, you uh, with yeah. a straight face yeah. say this to someone no, no. on a public platform and, it, they and were, not be ashamed no no and they were all very passionate about it so people were like more intensity more har pick or passion or energy yeah, energy coming screaming and all yeah and so we were screaming har pick but dude, i it. got addicted to it man yeah. it was like a great life <laughs> Huh. Uh, and then started doing a lot of radio and stuff like that. And you'd get paid, radio for money. Radio for money, man. And, and you get paid in cash. Fourteen. You get paid in cash for fifteen. Fifteen. By fifteen, sixteen, okay. I was at it. But your decent money is coming in. You're only fifteen. So then, did you see that there's a way into Dude, this? Dude, we were. Uh, I. It went to our head in six minutes. We did some uh, dodgy deal where we. Uh, Lied to a lady, mm-hmm. telling her that uh, we are well-known choreographers and stuff like that. And, and, and Samir Kocha said he's worked with Shamak and all that, uh-huh. so he's a, a half a legend. Uh-huh. And uh, so I told her that we're getting Shamak's people. I don't know if I'll get arrested for this. No, no, it's fine. Shamak's in Canada. Canada. We're safe. Oh, good, uh-huh. good. And uh, we did this choreography situation and got fifty thousand rupees for it. Yeah. And you couldn't dance. No, no. Coach did some bear dance with the children. Some bears. It was the, the theme was a jungle yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. Well, it better be B A R because if it's B A R E, we're all in a lot more trouble than Shama. It was really. It, now looking back, it was super dodgy. Like I don't know how they fell for it. Fifty thousand bucks. I was theater. I was around. a theater teacher. Which is not so far away. I had no away. practices, dude. No, I had nothing. But, but the bear dance is much worse in no, my eyes. So I yeah. gotta tell you. So the theme was a, uh, one with nature. So some children were trees, some were human beings, and some were animals. So Kocha did a bear dance, the monkey dance. And you were in your teens, and you got fifty grand for this, dude. Twenty five, twenty five each. We wow. lost our minds. We Super. started talking like our turnover is fifty thousand a year. Yeah. And we decided we we're going to buy. You almost it. wanted to file taxes. Yeah, and then we then upgraded. Then sense prevailed because the Congress government just said why. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then we decided we'll buy a motorcycle and whatnot. And But you don't want to ride motorcycle. a cycle or a But car or anything. That, that's the no, story I, I want to say for later. Okay, okay. Oh, huh. all right. Before we go into break, uh, let's fast forward a little bit because yeah. so that's so you, then you go to college. You're still doing all this. Yeah, got a terrible time. So what was your plan? So my plan was basically that at that point in time I was t- I started doing Which college? radio. I went to Delhi College of Arts and Commerce. Okay. Uh, I started doing radio. I started doing a little bit of theatre. I did uh, two plays with Roshan. Right. Uh, and uh, I was really looking but, at. But but as a career, what were you thinking? You were now seventeen, eighteen. I wanted to go to Jamia Millia Islamia and uh, do my mass communication, Films, become a huh? documentary filmmaker. Okay. Uh, which you still was, want to do which i still want to do now, but i'm still not there by the time you're 60 it's all going to happen <laughs> so we should not be negative right. now let's quickly fast forward yeah. suddenly in the middle of your college life yeah. you got picked up for this vj hunt yeah and you i was auditioning for everything i think you come to uh, mumbai yeah and yeah. Uh, so at that point in time the great thing was that we'd get up in the morning and we'd go audition for everything Yeah, that was including in Parliament Delhi. because you're in Delhi. Yeah, yeah, everything. I'm saying everything. Fair enough. I, I just had to do that for no I reason. I had the worst experience. My first one was uh, with Mini Mathur and Sachin Tendulkar. What are you saying? Yeah, Did you know which yeah. one was which? Because uh, you have no interest in TV or all the sports. Dude, I was, I it was the most humiliating huh. experience of my life because huh. they told me I've got this ad, which is for voting for India, huh. and I'm doing it with Sachin Tendulkar and uh, Mini, Mini Mathur, huh. who was a big star then. Hmm. You know, what do you mean then? No, no. In terms of like I'll the fact. Sorry. No, no. You're getting it wrong. Not in terms of that. In terms of the fact that at that point I was like in school and she just she, we were obsessed with her on home TV she, she had a very big show dude told yeah. molke bowl and all so we had a huge crush on her so for me it was like these I also had a crush on her yeah you were okay, you I talk on. about your crush brother <laughs> Yours was creepy. Uh, I, yeah. I had a proper crush on her. Mine was sweet schoolboy. Yours was Prem What's Chopra. What, what is the difference? Yours Prem was... Chopra was a schoolboy once. Uh, yes, but huh? but sas bhi kabi bahut hi. Have you not understood anything from no, our culture? But, but it was really bad because oh. of my first acting gig, huh. and they told me you're going to be doing all this, and hmm. I told everyone, school and college and all that, I'm doing an ad with Sachin Tendulkar and Mini Mathur and this that, and then I uh, get into the studio, and uh, there's no one there, and my other two friends have come with me to take a photograph with Sachin. Huh. But there's not like it's a dirty, dodgy little place <laughs> so in Noida. And then they play this video, which is Mini uh, doing her hair in front of a makeup mirror. And then suddenly she turns right to camera and she says, "Subha ki shooting, afternoon ki modeling, or dupair ki autograph signing se main thak jati hu. Lekin main kabi apna vote dena nahi bhulti." And then it cuts to another video with Sachin saying, Similar. "You must vote." Huh. And then they the, and the, that's the participation. No, and those are the videos. And then they wanted a kid. 
जंपिंग अप एंड डाउन क्रिकेट बैट सिंग ये ये सचिन जी और मिनी ने वोट दिया है मैं भी दूंगा मैं भी दूंगा एंड देन बॉल हिट्स माई फेस एंड आई फेंट माई गॉड करियर आई नेवर आई वॉज इन इवन इन द फ्रिकिन फ्रेम and then i did the ad and i had to wear a freaking helmet so i didn't even see my f- it was just the worst my god so this yeah, is suffering it was very bad. but then at this point uh, suddenly god reached out from the sky and put you into this mtv audition no that also happened later oh. so very long story a yeah, five five okay, then, then let's do one thing let's take a break because this long story is going to kill me then i tell you about my breakfast I I, if you can do it in a minute no no nothing no 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 no, no, no. Let, let's no, I won't. Won't. Let, let me hear this story no, 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 no i won't no, i want to hear this story no 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 this was amazing tell me, this is our alien abduction quick no no i'm done i'm done no no breakfast no go to break break no i can't now i'm forget the break no 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 No, I, I just said that. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. So you don't have nothing. No, we have a break, break first. Okay, take it, take it. Okay, take, take the break. Let me get over that joke. Hi, I'm May, and I'm a huge fan of the indie music scene in our country. A scene that's relatively underground, even though it sometimes speaks its head overground. But there's no shortage of talent, and I get the privilege of interviewing some of the most awesome musicians on my show. I've had the likes of Euphoria, Kirsch Kale, Hardcore, Randolph Coria. I've had singer-songwriters, folk singers, electronic music producers, playback singers, rappers, fusion artists, instrumentalists, classical musicians, and so on. Whether mainstream or not, these people have chosen to release their original music, and these are the people currently Currently shaping the direction in which our music scene is heading. Join me on my show every Monday and tune in to discover the unique talent coming out of India today. You can catch Made in India on your favorite podcasting app or our very own IBM podcast app. Back here after a long break with my good pal Cyrus Saukar, actor, singer, dancer of sorts, advertising filmmaker, and model. And uh, and uh, <laughs> going to tell us about a breakfast story. Which... No, no, no breakfast story. I told Come you about. On. Okay, so I basically went and I was going to the mountains for two weeks. Give us a date to everything you're doing. Otherwise... This is 1999. Okay, uh, and at that point in time, uh, Roshan had sent us for this MTV audition, mm-hmm. and there were all these models and actors. And at that point, MTV in Delhi, in Delhi, huh. and MTV had these VJ hunts, which was like a it big just, deal. Just it was the second one. Second one. Yeah. But before that, the people who were in it had done really well, so it was a really big thing. It was Nikhil Chanappa. But, but this was the big one. That that one was a smaller one. Right. Yeah. That's what so it is. In the sense that the, we scouted talent finally. Yeah. L- luckily, <laughs> in my time there was no such thing. <laughs> yeah. Daddy made a call, and I got into the channel. But that's not the same. And my happiest story was that uh, that Brocha used to host uh, MTV U, and we had appeared on MTV U as a school band. Is and, that so? Yeah. And we met Raghu and Rajiv, who were two young interns. My God, with, with hair, hair. with oh. hair. <laughs> and they were so nice. Raghu had a fringe and so nice natured. Very Hello, nice. Hello, Auntie. How are you? Hi, Auntie. Of course, why calling me Auntie? I don't but he know. was why uh, he told us, "Tell, jaldi, jaldi, karlo." Uh, yeah. Did you see the uh, making of the angry uh, young bald dude? Raghu man. told the synthesizer player, I think his name was Shravan, that yeah. you've got really bad pimples, and so we won't be showing much of your face. <laughs> this is just kept putting. Hands, yeah. But what a horrible thing to tell someone. No, I think it's a nice Shravan today, uh, he, though he is in an asylum. He, he still plays <laughs> the synth- synthesizer, and this is the main thing. Shravan is a dermatologist. Now. Is he? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Vijay Hunt. So you ah. went to this place. Now tell me honestly, you had no idea about what was happening. I had no idea, and you didn't take it seriously. Also, just another audition. You just try your luck. No, no. I'll tell you what happened. I ah. did an audition. It was below average. Hmm. You know, I was. What was the audition? Do you remember? Uh, you you tried to. That's why it was so bad. First, you do an interview huh. with a celebrity. A pretend interview. A pretend interview. interview. Yeah. Uh, then you do uh, in a just who was your celebrity, so called celeb- pretend uh, celebrity. Uh, I don't remember some that. film star, some film star or huh. singer or something. Huh. Then and then you do a sort of six minute piece to fire camera talking about yourself yeah, and yeah. some funny shit and one or two other things that they asked mm-hmm. us to do. So mine finished and then I was just standing around waiting for my. And they laughed a little bit. Did you get Nothing. Feedback? It was deadpan. Oh, so you getting used to what the job would be. Yeah, like. yeah. the guy was super <laughs> bored. Yeah, Meher Basin and a couple of other models were there. They were far more interested. So you were more interested in looking at them than actually. I was the dying of joy, man. Yeah, and I was in a. Constant state of hunger, so they had these sandwiches there, which we just kept eating. It yeah. was uh, outstanding. And then this guy called me and said, "Listen, are you you're doing nothing over here? Can you just be the fake celebrity for so all these people?" So you got famous as a fake celebrity, yeah, more than a, as the actual. Uh, That's I'm telling you, man. So I was then suddenly I was empowered, right? Because I'm the star now. So I'm like tripping with these and guys, answering back, and answering back. And you're playing that character, kick the dustbin, so, yeah. you know, yeah. punched one guy, said yeah. get out. I just went to my hand four yeah. minutes. So you were the original Raghu. <laughs> the original Raghu was Cyrus Saukar as an audition Dude. process in 1999. Yeah, it was there, great yeah. fun. And finished it, left for the mountains, and then got a call two weeks later, and they told me that you're uh, you've been chosen and you're going to Bombay uh, for for two weeks for this Vijay Hunt man. Boom. And uh, do you, who were the other people in that Vijay Hunt? Do you remember? 
a lot of people man was it mini there mini was there yeah. uh asif seth was there uh, quite a few kunal kunal kapoor was yeah. there um raman 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 lamba, raman lamba was yeah. there there was there was a quite a quite a big bunch of people so were you were now there. were you happy did you think your life is going in the right direction dude i got there i was petrified i had this one fab india t shirt that i used to wear as my lucky shirt it was a small bag uh why do you still wear it though you know i mean now years just, have gone by and still that I, i you know i saw a photograph uh, which roshan abbas posted of 1995 mm-hmm. and i'm dressed badly there and then i looked at myself and it's the same nothing's evolved nothing's happened the hair cuts the same it's like shit let's blame roshan for that because there are things you can do in post production for nothing, example nothing bro nothing back to 99 uh, vijay hunt yeah so uh, did this vijay hunt came to bombay mm mm-hmm. and uh, and in the first day that i did this video thing i realized how weird i look on camera man my one eye was up and down and this and that but gary I, edwards was there yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. a couple of guys with american accents american yeah, accents yeah, yeah. and all that stuff so but but to love yeah ishq ha huh. to cut a long story short what happened was uh, you were the only funny guy no there were a couple of other people also like who one guy pissed in a vase and all i remember out of Who's excitement that? they they locked us in a room samir kosher celebrating Sa- when you Sandeep won sandeep vyas peer navaz correct correct the singer yeah 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 yeah, yeah. In, but it's wow. not his fault. They psyched us so much. Yeah, they yeah. wanted to try to be funny because of you. Yeah. And this whole brocha. This was my fault. Yeah, you had brought up this funny, funny, <laughs> funny <laughs> shit. So everybody was trying to be funny, like in the worst yeah. way possible. Were you dressed like a cow? And I dare say this on a podcast. No, in India, you're in 2017. Oh, bro, bro, bro. But were you not dressed as a cow? No, I was not. Were you being milked on stage? No. I'm, please, I'm not fully wrong. My Alzheimer's <laughs> kicking in. But he was, ladies and gentlemen, he was dressed as a cow. And I say this with all the God Sevak's uh, support uh, because there's nothing bad that happens to the cow. It just gets milked. Am I right? No. Yeah. Absolutely. You're a milk wrong. bottle. I was a milk man. You were milk man, and I was singing to a cow. Brocha was almost there. You were singing to a cow. Yeah. So you were a god sevak in a way. Yeah. Yes, man. Because you're you know, again, you're again ahead of my time. Ahead of, of your time. So yeah, did that. And also, what happened was, I remember uh, that I was told. I, I looked at these guys. It was too intimidating. So mm-hmm. I realized I called up my friend and my. Who were the judges? There were judges and all. No? Do you Arre, I that? I remember one thing that basically uh, I realized I'm never going to win this. So I decided to eat as much as I possibly can. And the so, same sandwiches from Delhi had been brought to Bombay. Brother, it was a, you're 18 years old. Yeah. There's a buffet in this orchid hotel. And you, and you don't have to pay for it. You and, pay for nothing. And you don't have to run after eating. And then they have these fancy things. You keep going to Tarde or to these offices, and everybody's fancy, and you're yeah. going to your freaking yeah. Fab India yeah. shirt. Except me. Yeah, you. Do we hadn't met you yet? Yeah. The first time I met you, you looked at me, you abused me, and then you said But change your name. But in a nice way. No, no, you were quite uh, crazy. You took my wallet, then you abused me. You said change your name. You walked around. You must be just trying to bully you guys. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah you were oh, bullying us oh. all. And uh, then, then the the final day happened, and by some fluke, I was on. Uh, I remember Ravina Tandon was on stage with us, and she was uh, trying to be a VJ. She was a judge. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. I can't remember anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was crazy, oh. but just crazy shit anyway, happened. And so you won the audition. Yeah, then yeah. you became a VJ. Yeah. Now we'll fast forward that because yeah. you've spoken Done. about that for two million two times in yeah. your life. And uh, after the years of being on MTV, you now have a new show on the air. Let's quickly get into that. Yeah. So where you've stolen my name and my good friend Kunal's name, and people are calling us and saying, "Why there's a show about you?" But you're actually, not there. interesting. You got Kunal Kapoor also under the VJ hunt. In fact, I was the guy with him. We each were assigned one of you guys. Yeah. Right? So I was assigned Kunal. Yeah. And Kunal was fantastic till I was assigned him. Yeah. You know, he was really good. He was good. And then he went and fumbled lines and all on stage after I I was the, yeah. the coach. Yeah. And I feel really bad because I thought I you know motivated him and all that, but it obviously went the wrong way. But Brocha but was then, so but subsequently he became a uh, actor and all. Yeah. He's done fine, yeah. so he doesn't have to worry. Yeah, yeah. There's a new show. It's called um, uh, The Great Escape, yeah. where Kunal Kapoor and I go from Dharamshala all the way to Spiti. I know that, but I quickly want to expose the truth here. Okay, Mr. Saukar. Yeah, we had done a. And this goes back to tw- uh, September 11th, so I can never forget the date. Oh uh, my 2001, god! 2001 in Chata Film hai. City. We used to do these spoofs on songs in MTV. Uh, D- Dil Chata had become an iconic film, and there are three characters, if I remember right. right. Saif right. Ali Khan's character, Amir Khan's character, Farhan Akhtar's Akshay Khanna. Akshay Khanna's character. Yeah. Farhan Akhtar, Akshay Khanna. What's the difference? Come on. And then so uh, three of us, Saukar, me, and Nikhil Chinnapa were spoofing them. Early morning, we're there. The whole thing is in a car, the title track, and you're driving, and you're, so we have to exchange the wheel basically. Okay, one guy drives, two guys uh, <laughs> effing around the background, and uh, then September the next. 11th. I remember, September my 11th. God. So we start early morning. The first uh, driver is me. So four or five hours of uh, shooting with me driving the car, and Nikhil and Saukar, you know, pulling faces and all uh, and singing. Then uh, the second uh, three four hours is Jinnapa driving, and the two of us pulling faces. So now we've reached like from seven in the morning to about four in the evening, hmm. and the last before light hits us at seven seven fifteen, we've got to quickly finish with Saukar at the wheel. So they put the you know the tripod, they put the camera, the trolley, everything attached to the car. Uh, Saukar gets into the car driving position. I'm in the co-passenger seat and Nikhil behind, and with the open car. And then Saukar puts his hand up and with his thick Delhi accent says, "Yar, 
गाड़ी चलाने को नहीं आता है सॉरी आई कॉन ड्राइव आई कॉन ड्राइव वॉट आई डोंट नो हाउ टू ड्राइव Now he tells us. It was terrible, dude. He actually told everybody at that point. I was in the back seat throughout really that damn attack. song. I'm always trying to finish things off and rush home, and I'm I'm looking at Vasant and, and the other producer and all, and we're looking at each other. I I because I thought he was pulling our leg. He really did not drive. So now we had to shoot his section with the car being pushed and the camera really close. Yeah, <laughs> pushed by Chinappa and Rocha. Pushed to the back, you know, and, and yeah. we're rolling the car, and he's doing all this acting. I was all the, I was all the slow shots, and no, because I don't know how to drive now, looking back. Nothing can be worse back. than you acting driving, okay? Yeah. Because you know, if you always overact, your right shoulder the goes too much. Your left shoulder goes too much. Oh, it, it was hilarious. it was horrible. But I got so many crazies. But yeah. Rocha, I must say, you. But it was a fun evening, except for what happened yeah, yeah, uh, internationally man, after that on our drive back. Nuts, Oof. man. They were. Great times yeah. then, man. But I remember with you, you were you haven't changed at all from the years I know you, man. I remember this wonderful. It's s- called boot polish. You apply it on your hair, and you look good. Underneath this funny guy, always aggressive, always <laughs> ready to fight. Brocha got into more fights than I've ever seen anyone get into. Anything. What rubbish? How many? How many? Where? Who fought with who? I remember for a, there was a uh, city cable visit. Those days, uh, uh, we had to go to all kinds of places to go to city cable visits. And Brocha and I were sent to uh, Jalandhar. And we finished this. Uh, now I've really got Alzheimer's. You've got Alzheimer's, bro. You don't remember this, but I remember no. it word for word. Huh. And <laughs> we reached there. There's this huge guy, and uh, he's taken us in two cars. Uh, <laughs> Because were, we can't drive. Dude, they, they were all the goons, man, <laughs> over oh. there. And we finished this thing, and you come back, and you decide, let's have a drink and all that. Saukar, we must drink, <laughs> and patiala peg and all. And you're drinking, and then that guy comes up and says that, "Aap log hamare guest hain. Aap dinner ke liye hamare saath aaye." And we're sitting in a small room. There are nine men. They're all drinking. They're looking at us. And Brocha, uh, he looks at Brocha and says, "Ha, boy, कुछ joke ओक्स ना हो, चलो कुछ करो." And you said, "मेरे पास joke नहीं है." And he said, "नहीं नहीं, करना तो पड़ेगा कुछ भी." And you started fighting with him. You guys had the worst conversation and argument ever. Post which at night we went to uh, his theme park. You don't remember? To this? get beaten up? No, <laughs> we sat on a freaking roller coaster, and his child. Uh, kept beating us with bumper cars, man. My child. While we sat there in fear, in <coughs> you don't remember this at all. We were so weak that the kid was sent to beat us up. <laughs> Nine year old. There were so many stories, man. Of, okay, Saul, uh, let's talk about your damn show. We interrupted you okay. the driving. Yeah, so there are two so you shows. You go from Jalan. Uh, you go from Dharamsala, huh? Yeah, so we travel from. Uh, we drove from. It was great, man. To you actually drove. Brocha. Uh, well, well, he drove. I was Kunal navigator. Drove, yeah. Par excellence. <laughs> Kunal drove. Uh, uh, drove from Dharamsala all the way to Spiti. Okay. And uh, 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 hand is up in the air. What? Is, where is Spiti? <laughs> up in the north spiti iran hence hence <laughs> it's okay. a beautiful place man outstanding drive and which it's a really nice travel log because there no pieces to camera or shit like that it's almost like a doc so when you when you were cold would you all i mean because there was freezing would you hug and there was cuddling involved there was, yes, there was, there was. I, I, i i'm just asking there was as a heterosexual i'm just asking because this is the way things are just for warmth uh, it so it was a really nice uh, thing we did all kinds of bizarre stuff it was beautiful to hang with kunu also after a really long time mm-hmm. uh, otherwise in bombay you don't get to chat with anyone so yeah it's a really nice trip it's it's today actually at 8 o'clock if you get the time to watch it and well, you know today what is the podcast but we we'll oh, do what oh, we can shit. Okay. it's today meaning it's tomorrow fridays, yesterday it's fridays at 8 fridays PM. at 8 on fox on fox india uh, india and then i did a web series which also launched 4 uh, 5 days ago uh and where do we where do we put the and tvf play oh. it's called office versus office okay tvf is where that issue happened with the uh, i'm sorry i i don't remember the details with tell the, us bro chow what was the details gentlemen and the uh, well the we leave it there we leave it there okay so <laughs> as you wind up the interview what else is on the cards you now you've done you actually dabbled in everything so what's brother next? yeah man it's you've crazy you've done films you've done tv you've done digital stuff theater i've been having theater, a lot of fun live yeah. events um, what have you not done stage plays the works. brother we i think for all of us at that radio in our mm. lives it's just been that right mm. we've all been dabbling with what not we've been lucky so also to be so what is sound what does he do what, what how do you define now, yourself now at this point in time i i really think that there's a part of me that really wants to write and create and you've talked about it so much but never really found out if you're good or bad at it so that's something that i really so want, want to make a film i don't know about a film right now i'm definitely writing a mockery series a story and then see yeah. a mockery series yeah 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 a mockumentary yeah okay. i've always been interested in it and uh, i try to do something called the bench which we release two episodes with and they're for more like i've seen you in the gym <laughs> don't do the bench <laughs> never do the bench yeah and uh, uh, i think i'm going to write and create and see where life goes man okay you know? a final question romance But what about my I wanted to tell all my stories about you being naked and we, showering we'll, we'll squeeze one in but uh, romance I've been in a relationship for four and a half years uh, the lady's name please where shali uh, height weight uh height must be like 5 4 is she hot yeah 5 5 say 5 5 she's very beautiful what does she do she's an editor 
<coughs> so she removes me from photographs. And uh, is she going to go any further? <laughs> or is that it? What do you mean? Am I going to get married? Well, what? Why are you getting all like weird on me? I just want to know. Like, like an aunt. I meet you once in five. Yeah, but I won't. I, I'm just thinking I won't be called for the wedding. Why sure. would you? Be, why would you? Short, never? Shorts won't be allowed, brother. You will be like guest of honor. Yeah, at the wedding, yeah. he keeps saying all this nonsense. He's been married three times before. I don't even know about it. No, no, bro. Those are things that happen, and we yeah, must bring them up. You're, this is why drinking. How can you not be at my wedding, dude? Okay, I'll come. I'll come. You have been one of the most so, so, important. So, so, so what you're saying is there will be a wedding. Yeah, hopefully, man. But I, I'm not a big believer in the wedding situation unless. What about you have her? Kid. It's not just you. She's to completely. What about uh, kids? You like kids? She's had four years with me. Huh? She's got kids. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, if I think if you if you're having kids, you may need to want to get married. Do you want kids? Yeah, I would like. Does she want kids? You were obsessed with having a kid at thirty, right? You had this theory about how otherwise you'd be an old dad in a wheelchair. (laughs) That's all you'd keep telling me. So no kids. Saukar, at thirty, if you don't have a child, you'd be an old dad. You can borrow my kids. The kid will hit the ball and you'll be dribbling. You don't need kids. Why is this going to be so morbid? Take mine. Take mine. (laughs) Okay, quick. I'll allow you one brocha Saukar story and then we have to end. Oh God, really? Yeah. I want to talk for hours, man. Tell, tell, tell them the naked one. Let the truth come out. See, I'll tell you why I got traumatized working with Brocha because the few, uh, I think, the first year of working, uh, I got to share a room with Brocha. But that's also because uh, you can't share with Chinappa. This is the other end of the spectrum. Chinappa was damn touchy. He cleans huh? everything. Yeah. Anal about everything. Brocha touched Chinappa's toothbrush, and Chinappa, I remember, got really pissed off. Pulled out his gun. Yeah. Nice Kurgi boy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Carries a gun with him. So you can't. <laughs> he touches the toothbrush, shoots you. But uh, so Saukar and I were put together thinking we're more the jungly but, type. But I haven't shared and, the room with Brocha and, before. Yeah. And uh, suddenly, man, I'm sitting on the bed watching television, and this one, he takes a one and a half hour frigging shower. And then there's the bubble bath. Bubble bath. It, Dude, you're new to the huh? five star experience, boy. He this guy's having a freaking bubble you're, bath. You're a bubbler too. He's a bubbler too. He's, today. he's yeah. asked for salts and all. Yeah. I see petals being thrown on him. All it's very, yeah. It's Poetry. the lux. It's the lux ad, basically. You know, with better looking people. With better looking people. Yeah. And then this naked brocha. This door opens and naked. Dude, butt naked. And he's, he's 18, huh? I'm 18, 18. He's a young kid. Butt naked brocha. 27. Stands 26. in front of the mirror and starts flexing. Okay. And I'm like friggin' really uncomfortable because he's just, he's not said anything. And he starts bending around, looking at his body and saying, Saukar, I can bench press like 200 kgs and I'm so strong. Look, 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 look at my glute muscles. And I'm like, brother, what the, what is the f- going on, man? And I moved them to show him. Yeah. And I got super uncomfortable. And, and then I went on the bed and lay down. He lay down on the bed naked. With the remote, watching the cricket. Huh? I ran into the bathroom thinking I'll no, no. get some space. After that, the, the famous line. What, so what? then he started walking up and down. Saukar walks up and down in front of the bed like in one of those bad TV series, you know, in a court or something. The lawyer's walking up, like Vakalat or something. Walks up and down for 10 minutes and I say, okay, what's the matter? What, what, like a tiger in a cage? And he goes, Brusha, come and say, come. Chandni pano. man, what the? He couldn't take it anymore. Kamal ho gaya, yaar. Come and say, come. Chandni pano. I'm eating and all, dude. There's a bloody free butt naked man just scratching and watching oh, TV. But then after that, we remained roommates because oh, after that experience, we bonded and he wanted me naked all the time. Dude, so, it was so much fun. Yeah. Then Brocha but no one else would room with us Dude I won't these, Cyrus Brocha is the only man I've seen Who's had a story. fight with 17 actors In Film City Dressed as A woman In a sari As yeah. a woman with a huge bindi yeah. Kajal <laughs> the And is in a fist fight with the yeah. union <laughs> But I couldn't get out of the clothes And what happened was that <laughs> One guy started wrestling with Brocha And one of the union guys said Are uh, ladies press it not do It's not ladies It's <laughs> true It's this giant, giant man fighting With 11 men uh, and, uh, But I had the blouse and all With the blouse It was, so it was proper Like and Maharashtrian then, yeah, this man called Kamal He and I were in the middle of it Dude. Saukar was of course Helping by talking, talking ah. through the whole experience. I was on top of a tree, uh, like saying, "Bhai, sir, aise nahi karte hain." Yeah, something like that. But yeah. Pyar mohabbat mein ho jayega. What about the, what was the one in the water going? Uh, the tap in the five star. Oh, oh, yeah, I got so freaking nervous. I pulled out the whole tap. So I'm lying in the bed and suddenly I hear this sound, like <laughs> streams of water all over. Saukar comes running out saying, "Oh, null nikal gaya." Yeah, I got so psyched. Null nikal gaya. So I said, what do you mean by null nikal gaya? The whole faucet it flew out of the sink. Actually, it came out. There was nothing. It was a water fountain with no tap because it broke. These Taj Saukar Hotel people it. will never call us Saukar back. Saukar broke the tap. Don't I ask broke me the how. Tap. I don't know how I did it. Out then, of nervousness. Saukar decides to fix it by putting his finger in. <laughs> the finger gets stuck <laughs> and he gets diverted to another side. <laughs> brocha! Brocha! And then we're trying to call room service and we don't know who to call because we're new to the five star experience. Dude, there are too many stories I've got. Moments. There are too many stories. Many to do with hotel rooms, I have to warn you. There's also when Brocha fell madly in love with Mini. Same trip. Yeah. Uh, he wrote letters Yeah Kabir I remember That's when he did that uh, John Abraham film in Afghanistan yeah. He was so de- 
press he went off <laughs> <laughs> okay so okay, we don't have time days. to wrap this Sai, up thank so you, what's man. coming up next after the great uh, so brothers these two will happen they'll play there but nine episodes left on both shows yeah. please try to watch one i know yeah. you won't but just yeah. try yeah. Uh, one is called the great escape as i said one is uh, one is on fox was, one is on uh, tvf yeah, yeah. Screen, okay. tvf play and screen pati okay and then i'll come, i'm going to go for a holiday uh, where i do i'm going to new york uh, on the 5th so hopefully that should be fun okay excellent for how long two weeks is good enough yeah alone with vishali and uh, quite a few friends in fact mini is also there oh, oh. oh. nobody told oh, me oh say oh we mentioned oh, that bridge up plus is mini yeah. coming with kabir or without kabir with kabir why because because what <laughs> give me a reason give me a good reason nothing's changed there's no reason why do people have to go together you're so lucky kabir is a good guy <laughs> he's a lovely guy huh? really you've got no real you know those rare people you want to do well because you can't think of anything you, bad about yeah, him yeah <laughs> like you only you, there's nothing yeah. like let's bitch about him. kabir nothing there's nothing blank kabir, you got nothing there's no something man nothing dude i mean you you tell me your wife is so he hot he helps people pass the road smile. Yeah. You know he's good pays yeah. just, he's just a guy. His films are nice. Yeah yeah, he's a good he's so a, bad because he's a bad filmmaker. Even that doesn't do nothing. Everything's like he's a good guy. Kabir low your standard. You're not yeah. fun for us. Yeah, yeah. so Brocha can get material on. You him. think he'll give us a role now? No, doubt, doubt it. Damn. Doubt it. Cyrus Sarkar. Thank you Brocha. Oh, Cyrus says, little confusing though. Hi, I'm Amit Verma, the host of the weekly podcast The Seen and the Unseen. In my show, I examine the seen effects and the unintended consequences of public policy and private action. I show how policies meant to help the poor often end up hurting the poor. I've done episodes so far on demonetization, GST, surgical strikes, immigration and MRP, and I will continue my forensic assault on the truth in the weeks to come. Catch the show every Monday on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer or visit seenunseen.in for all the latest updates. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail.com. All right, here on the AMA section, we segue out of Cyrus Saukar, the man, the myth, the legend, into Cyrus Saukar. Can you help us with the AMAs? Yeah, let's ask oh, me anything. By the way, May, this is Cyrus. Cyrus, this is me. Hi, May. We've met before. We met before. Radio One, one and second. all of them. I'm talking about me. Oh, sorry. Now I'm right. introducing you to the right, other side. Right. Cyrus, I know. Me. It's going to be very confusing <laughs> now. Hi. <laughs> what an ego. So basically, we have yeah, really both of you. Um, there. So basically, listeners send us questions. So one of the questions is from Vishnu Priya Sharma. What should be done to the human body once someone dies? Oh, uh, I would love to do th- depending on how pretty the person is. That is many, oh. Like, oh, dude. Necrophilia dude. for me is not exactly the worst crime. Because sometimes you know you're lonely in life, the irony is you cannot be lonely in death then, you know. So, it's good karma for everyone. Bye-bye. But human body uh, some guys going to take mo- some guys going to take inspiration from you, listen to you seriously. Yeah, exactly. That's what See, worries I'm me. Okay man. Good, <laughs> I'm okay with you. You know you've reached a we've reached a point now you need to say joke no, after. But, but my point is <laughs> my point is I'm donating things, but if people know who you are, then because we are all prejudicial in our thoughts. Yeah. So moment I'm mean, forget, forget you're a famous guy. Have you donated? I'm saying forget no, famous. Have you donated? No, I'm saying suppose you know, <laughs> what the hell? I'm asking, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. okay. I'm saying, okay so you say that you know I, I was an income tax accountant or whatever. Then you be I don't know I want to keep his liver. You know, you you just start thinking like that. You wouldn't be a little worried. Like so you're basically, like selling your balls and going no, like, how I'm saying much will I get? There's a caste system and death which will follow us. Caste system. That's wow. my fear. Death. That's, that's insane. Like, like, ye paper to come jaate hain. That's what. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> For example, if you want the, paper, if you want the male genitalia. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody's doing that, brother. No, of course, <laughs> no one is donating penises. What's the organ all about? Are you mad? They say I want an organ. What you are you thinking talking about? Uh, liver? Sweetheart, I'm, oh, one minute. Oh, you no, can. But are you mad? Yes, you can. Are you mental? You you actually. Told you you're getting it on your like. I have a cousin. Uh, I have a cousin. Before who, I was bored. Uh, now this is a uh, Sahu, contract killer. I, I have a cousin who has a rhesus monkey's. Yes. For yes. What joy? He wanted to be hairy. It jumps with <laughs> jumps with joy. Gems with joy. Okay, answer her question on a serious note. What do you note. think? What should we wo- donate our well, organs so after death? So, if you, if what do you think should be done with the body once it dies? That, that's not the question. That no, that's what organs. he's in, in trying to get. No, so of course, you should donate your organs. Too. I think Have you done it? Donate. I would like to. Donate, donate, donate for science. Why you not? just thought about it because he gave no, no, the question. Hundred percent. If I could just what get the What would you donate? Everything. If I could just get the forms. I'm like correct. Could I give one eye and keep one for safety in case there's rebirth and all that? I got big enough eyes that one is enough for. You think so? Look at my eyes, man. But you think they'll see the same? Thing that you saw, huh? 
you know will the vision be the same that you had no, but there's this movie about it no about yeah. how um, now they're saying that it, your you, you energy, can have the thoughts of that person yeah. so the heart the, the karmic energy is going so, from so, that oh, person true story oh. have you read yeah like the phantom arm phantom theory right phantom limb and all that kind of thing yeah so so basically so, like, you are a very panicky person and you donate your heart to someone else the thing is that maybe that person also gets panic attack for example if yeah. i get pt usha yeah uh, pt usha's body and i'll start winning all the running 500 meters champion things well, all over the country that's athletic heart but i'd have a Mali- <laughs> i'd have a malayali accent but imagine so, if you have you were saying bolt's heart but the body of like uh, normal uh, bo derek yeah so what are you going to do so you run really fast with your big <laughs> Which is great, also in Baywatch. Just reach nowhere. <laughs> Some, so someone should have told uh, the. But rock. I'd, I'd give it all. I don't donate my upper body. Have you donated anything? Yeah, upper body. Anybody yeah, but bro, 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 legs are weak. Legs. <laughs> You're so touchy about his legs. Yeah. What? Legs, I show my squat four hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed you. He shows people in the aircraft random videos of him squatting. I do. Why do you do that? To make friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could make friends. Like next, him. next, next. This is from uh, Mahim Gautam. Um, who would you choose if you had to choose among? I think it's Gautam way, from Mahim. No, no. Yeah, Mahim Gautam in, is, by the way, one of our yeah, regulars, and I want to regular. salute him. We should give him a prize because you if should. anybody writes more than three times to us, the reasons defy logic. So thank you, Mahim, Mahim Gautam. Gautam. Mahim Gautam. Mahim. Mahim. Mahim Gautam. So um, who would you choose if you had to choose among Anu Malik, Falguni Patak, Papi Lehri as Saukar. your personal favorite? This is for Saukar. This is something he has kept him awake at night many a time and oft. Pick he has na. not slept with these three people's names running around in his head. Papi, Falguni and Anu Malik. Yeah. Dude, dude. Even though actually the sweetest I think is Falguni. As, but I'd go for Bappi man yeah, Bappi is very sweet Bappi, Bappi is very sweet Very sweet And the Dude the music He's made Nobody else has made man Just by walking Dude yeah. the, <laughs> No no You're right The whole disco generation Come We never give respect yeah. for that I respect yeah. I, I just want to hang out For me Disco station is like Mozart Disco, disco station, station Disco, disco. Oh. Can you get that who right Sort of what, da- who? what Daft Punk is now doing Yes like, like, It's what Daft Bappi's Punk been doing From the start It's just coming there It's not coming there yet Yeah Okay uh, Do you think Comedy is still underrated on Indian TV. P.S. The Kapil Sharma show is not a comedy show. This is from Dutt Pandit. This is one of our, like me, an elitist Malbahil type who's yeah. like, he likes Kapil Sharma doesn't speak in English, so I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he likes chat. But also he's funny in English. You know what say. I want to do? I want to do how do you decipher yeah. the personality of the person who sent the question through the question? A psychology That's series. A good point. But, let, but let's talk about that. A uh, lot of people uh, look down on Indian yeah. comedy beyond uh, the internet and think that all the Hindi comedy and the vernacular comedy and the comedy from the different languages is not up to the mark. Is that true? No, Dude, m- Malu comedy is so fully like it's satirical not satirical and yeah. beyond yeah. and very political. Yeah, on that yeah man, it's Bengali been going on for well. ages. And, yeah. and, and what about the Dali scene and the dividing? The Dalis. The Dalis? But now the stand-up situation is there, and everything's moved a lot onto the internet, hasn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, so everybody's putting whatever they. But have are you one of those there. guys as a comedian? Do you ever look down on any forms of comedy and say, "Oh, we're up, we're no, down"? No, no. I think if something makes me laugh, it makes me laugh. Yeah, and that's, yeah and the exactly. Thing is, that's amazing. I laugh at the worst shit. You can laugh at a man banging into a bucket. For example. Right. Uh, you see the most intelligent man You know Ratan Tata is watching And he goes Ha 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 so What do you do Dude, my, What uh, do you like define some, uh, Someone the other day only Was in a, screaming About something yeah. And then they had this Minor slip And their head just went left It's just hilarious <laughs> And it's the worst Like it's the stupidest form Of it's old so humour But America- you, because funnies videos and I think you can't kind of have a what makes me laugh and all like yeah, some yeah. really smart you, shit doesn't what, make you laugh what was at terrible all. was the guy had Parkinson's and you thought he fell yeah, that's, that's so it, nice but yeah. yeah that's just not nice yeah, yeah. it's insensitive <laughs> and uh, uh, please don't do that Okay. As last a minor question. Request. Yeah. Um, s- given Cyrus's love for animals, what is his advice? And also the other Cyrus. We're yeah. both animal you both and you? love animals. And you. I have no problem with animals. What does They're that mean? So you don't really like animals. <laughs> You're an animal hater, aren't you? I'm but, not. Both, but but it's also you kicked okay the cat, haven't you? No, today? because if someone asks you, do you like animals? And like, do you have a pet? And I don't have a pet. No, no, no but that I'm doesn't not. define whether yeah. you like animals. I've come, exactly. I've come to realize animal that friendly people are people who just like animals. You'll see, we we go to animals wherever we go all our lives. No, no, but I've come to realize even we have this fake favorite. Some shit going on, you know. Yeah. I mean, in terms of you like animals, but you like some animals are way more than you like the others. Of course. No, so do you like all animals? Like like then you're, you're a non-vegetarian. Uh, uh, that is that that I so don't. That's the question. That is the That's the question. So what is his? <laughs> but I'm giving it up. You you, process. But I'm oh, never. Yeah. On. So that's. The I question. see you doing it. I really it up. I see you being a vegetarian. I really do. I don't ever see you being a vegetarian. I see. I, I think see it's it. very confusing because, because his his compassion and his love for animals is true, and it'll supersede as he ages. Snakes. Snakes. In Gujarati is something you eat. Yeah. But they're vegetarian. What about that? 
I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, I don't get. Yeah. So wait, given Cyrus's love for animals, what is his advice to non-vegetarians? Oh, well, see, morally, there's no question. It's wrong to kill animals. You can't defend that from any. Area yeah. of philosophy. Uh, you know, but, but what they've done is they've desensitized some animals in your head. No, 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 that's bullshit. Okay, I was I'm reading a the theory. It's all nonsense. No, it's all a scam. Like, it's, for example, it's murder. It's, it's, any way you look at it. Sorry, yeah. go on, go on. Yeah. No, no, but what they've done to chicken, like, people don't think they're killing anything yeah. when they eat chicken. It's just like, okay. Even what this, yeah, what they say about the cattle and how they kill using that uh, that's the hammer technique. It's just and all murder. That. I mean, it's just murder. Yeah. There's a yeah. question. So, you know what? Vegetarians just, will be better so people. So, one of my friends was telling me that. Kill the animal, you've killed the animal. Yeah, he's got it. So, one of my friends was talking about, like, in Denmark, right? The Danish, like, pork, pig. Yeah, there are yeah. more pigs there than yeah. there are people. Yeah. And no, he was telling me about true. how there are more pastries. No, <laughs> no, there actually are. There's some like fifteen million people, and people in there. Yeah. Denmark. So um, he was telling me about how you can actually get like bacon bits, like in a shaker, and just put it over. Like it's a condiment. Like, yeah, bacon. Bacon. It's called bacon. It's amazing. No, bacon is a word you used to explain. Like because she's here, <laughs> I am feeling horny. Two uh, people have I committed suicide to show how they feel so about it. I know, pretty the much. State of comedy in the world. Tell me, Raj Bro, come here, I'm bad. Some guys are not manly. What did poor <laughs> Kapil Sharma do that they're attacking him? <laughs> I <laughs> know. <laughs> After listening to this, yeah. yeah. Are we uh, done? Yeah. Do you have any last words to say to Cyrus Saukar, actor, comedian, singer? Do you stop saying that, dude. Writer, I've done none of anchor. Half, half those things I'm not done. Gymnast, yeah. <laughs> Russian roulette Gymnast. player, you should triple come, cyclist. Honestly, <laughs> come and hang with us, host. yeah. Like whenever you're like, what do you think he's nothing to do? Like, yeah. Just yes. Like, no, but I would. Bro, don't, you should, don't judge everybody by me. Some bro, you should work. come. You should come home for lunch, man. Poor bullshit. Yeah. I didn't get invited for lunch. Cyrus is super so anti-social, sad, yeah. dude. Vegetarian. What's for lunch? Vegetarian. Tell her. Vegetarian stuff. <laughs> My <laughs> girlfriend's vegetarian, dude. You don't understand. Well, that's now that. Okay, that last, well, what's what's right? time, living with constant time, guilt. That's now that. <laughs> Oh, that's, no, 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 no. that's the script you don't have to write about. Yeah. Vegetarian and non-vegetarian living together. How no, long does that last? Travel together. Travel together. Go, go to, it's a socially go to awkward. Kazakhstan. When you're on the frigging <laughs> plane, it's socially awkward. Everywhere you go, it's a and, and they look down on you. Well, by the way, as they should. You are. As they should. For being a vegetarian. No, no I'm so I'm, I've started eating a lot more vegetarian food because of nervousness. I nervousness. Shake, I shake and all. Yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah. So when two people I'm going to make love, eater. are they vegetarian or non-vegetarian? Oh. oh, good question. Questions like these shall be discussed next week. <laughs> Baba Brocha, Cyrus Tyrone, <laughs> sure. Baba Brocha, Saukar, you good. can win. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, catch us on any of the podcasting apps, please. We beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online, and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called me, and that's what Cyrus says. Excuse me, Bhaiya. Excuse me. Bolle, madam. Menu me kya hai? Menu me seen and seen hai. Podcast hai, on course hai. Cyrus says hai. Made in India, rediscovery project, empowering series, sex wax hai, IVM likes hai, simplified hai, keeping it queer hai, things and destinations hai, my neighbor Zakarbag hai, or the fan garage hai. Aapko kya chahiye? Uh, ek baar repeat kar denge kya? Repeat repeat nahi karta ham. Aap jao ivmpodcast.com pe aur suno ye sab. Ya fir download karo unka app. Sab aapke ungliyon pe.